foot though in a cold below the summit of Mount Marcy right foreground. Beyond the tiny lake, looking due west, stand the ragged McIntyre Mountains far right, and the Santoni Santanoni Range top left. See that? There's the gleaming dot right there. A few moments of cold mountain water, the Hudson's first flow of wind through the marsh that lay tears out with to feed Frostbow Brook. And there's the ribbon of cold water. Surging by a mossy boulder, Feldspar Brook takes refreshment from a welting June snow. Yeah. A nameless mountain rivulet tumbles down the tangled slopes of Mount Colden to join the Alpalescent River. The trees and branches sprawled on the banks are relics of a hurricane that devastated the Adirondacks in 1950. The Alpalescent River gains strength at the, as it joins Feldspar Brook lower left. Here the river is shown with glacial erratics, boulders dropped during the Ice Age, and they're bringing composition from the rock on which they lie. Here's the water. There's, look at all these collapsed trees and branches. Still some 300 miles from the sea, the Obelescent River roars through the flume, a deep gorge with nearly vertical walls rising above tiered falls and rapids Beyond this wild raceway, the opal scent widens and then meanders gently to its junction with the Hudson six miles downstream. This is the Opalescent River, as you can see here. The nominal source of the Hudson, mile long Henderson Lake, draws its water from spring with brooks high in the surrounding hills. There's the hills it's surrounding us, you can see here. As a streamlet emerging from Henderson Lake, the Hudson can be crossed in a stride. See the hut this is the Hudson River. Below Henderson Lake, the young Hudson widens to form Sandford Lake. Seen here looking north toward the Wolf Face Mountain and the jagged peaks of the McIntyre Mountains in the background, directly below the river's exit from the lake. The Hudson is joined by the Opalescent. There's the Hudson River forming Sandford Lake. Entering the Hudson Gorge some 25 miles downstream from Sandford Lake, the river flows beneath Blue Ledge. A spectacular marble rock face rising up to 400 feet. It's blue tint caused by a number of mineral impurities. Okay. As the sun rises above the Hudson Gorge, cool air from the first September frost forms mist over the warmer waters of the moving current downstream from this relatively quiet stretch. The river's flow speeds up as the Hudson plunges headlong into the rapids of Harris Lift. See that? In Harris Rift, wild stretch of the upper Hudson, a series of boulder studded rapids turn the river into a, a maelstrom. The water rushes for a mile through the Hudson Gorge. In places, cataracts alternate with narrow chutes that abruptly hurl the current from side to side. Is that? This is the Hudson River in the Hudson Gorge. In the heart of Cedar Swamp near the village of Morea, showy lady slippers glorify the early summer with their orchid blossoms. There's the these slippers.
behaving remarkably like water browsing mice, three white tailed doves and a fawn wade in Deer Pond. Near Newcomb, during early summer, deer often come to the lake to feed on water shield. An aquatic plant, sometimes swimming out into deeper waters to munch on it, water biologists theorize that the deer seek out water shield for its high concentration of sodium, a nutrient that is rare in terrestrial plants in spring and summer. See that?